and a Way Shrine of Talos, but I'm going to say we're not really bothered for a blessing right now. Um, on account of us actually already having a blessing of Xenathar, and on account of us wanting to get to Faragil as quickly as possible. Your eyes peeled, Jorak. There's wolves on this road. Oh, there's also apparently travelers. Traveling merchant. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, you're a merchant of some kind, I take it? Can I interest you in some of my wares? Sure, what do you sell? Arrow of immolation. Whoa! Area of effect arrows. That's cool. Um, magnificent potion of healing for a rather good price. Mighty potion. Whoa! Permanently fortify luck on self. Oh, I'll buy that right now. Hmm. What will you buy from me? Anything that I'd want to get rid of? John, that is so awesome. I probably should have bought more of that, honestly. Uh, I'll sell you the rest of those. I wonder why those are stacked separately. I am tempted to buy that thing right there. If I knew how many points it fortified, I would definitely take it. 3,300 gold, though, is about everything that I have. I don't think I can justify it. Even though, I don't know if I'll ever see this woman again. No, thank you, my lady. Come back and see me again. It was nice to encounter you, though. The Heartlands and Nibonian Valley are the agricultural breadbaskets of Cyrodiil. Hmm. Thank you. Be seeing you. Good day to you. Oh, it is day now. What do you want? Nothing, just saying hello. Farewell. Must be the lady's um entourage. What the hell? Oh god, that the guy was shooting at me. What are you doing out here? Forester! Practicing archery! State your business, citizen. Nothing, just saying hello. That's awesome! I've never seen the dude do that before. Why am I asking about Hieronymus Lex? Yeah, I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier or a guardsman in the Imperial City? Y yes I think. There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Anvil. All of the Bella's priests and priestesses Murdered. Carry on. I like that that's like a natural thing that a forester would do if he encountered an archery target. That's cool. Just, just walking around, he'd be like, huh? Wait a minute. Where's he? Jorak and I are like, uh, what? Okay. Jorak, you're a. Are you a Nord? No time to waste. We need to get to Faragil. Okay. I was hoping to get some kind of, um,. Default dialogue from him to hear his voice. I think he's a Nord. Yeah, it's dawn. And we are at Farragil. Let's not be naughty, let's use the road. We won't cut down the hillside there. That would be creating erosion paths, which is not something that a good outdoorsman. Dunmer does. Grew up on a farm, after all, knows the advantages of good ecology. Oh, for a second I thought I crashed it, but no. Right. So, who do we ask about this then? Jorak? Uh, the blacksmith, perhaps? Uh, 
Oh, right, the blacksmith is closed. Because it's still really early in the morning. We're here! We're in Farragill. How early is it? It's, yeah, it's rather early. Well, we'll just walk around and see if we see anybody that can tell us what's going on. When in doubt, check the inn. Hello. Hello. A pleasure to speak with you. Do you know anything about why I'm here? Uh, no, apparently not. Goodbye. Yes? Valera, Alex, Sajira, who wants her potatoes back. Okay. Nobody here that can tell me anything. Imagining everyone's houses are probably locked given the hour. I'm noticing too. Um, perhaps you guys noticed it the first time I was here. They mentioned how the town's been. The town people have been paid off with alien relics from digging in the mine, and the town itself has been built by the blocks pulled out from the alien mine, and it's occurring to me that. The houses are built with alien stones. Either vertically or horizontally, they're like laid as housing material. It's cool. I like that. It's a great idea. I've not seen a single soul this morning. Oh! Hello? Sylor, bites her tongue. It's good to see you again. Thank Akatosh you're here. This is madness. You've got to do something before these fools rush into another big mistake. Hmm? Calm down. Explain the situation. Oh, listen to Nevis. Sounds like he's in charge. Whoa, look at all these goblins. Uh, really though, let's, let's hear what's going on. Well, as you know, goblins attacked our mining company twice in recent times. That tribe assembled at the camp are the same ones we drove off before. We had no reason to suspect they would ever return, especially after the last incident. There should be no reason for the goblins to be there. Here. Yet something is compelling them to remain and to threaten hostile action. Bites and I were able to hold the villagers off from attacking. I don't know how much longer that will last. But if these goblins truly wanted a fight, they wouldn't have stopped with seizing Jorak's camp. I suspect that there is something more they still want from us, though nobody is sure what because the goblins do not trust us to approach them. They do not know you, though, so you may be able to help with this. I have managed to convince the villagers to let you make the call. Oh. This is interesting. Here I thought I was just coming to attack some goblins, but apparently I have the, the option to try to communicate with them? Um, which is tricky, because I'm an, a member of the Order of the Dragonborn's Knight, and uh, our order is devoted to eradicating goblins wherever we see them. But, as Sylor says, they if they were interested in just attacking us, they would have done it by now. They're here for something else, and that piques Nebish's curiosity. Nebish's curiosity. Huh. So, would he um, give in to that curiosity and try to communicate with the goblins? Or would he just say, No, Sir Elaine's orders compel me to slay all goblins where I see them. Hmm. I think I'm I'm wearing I mean if I'm wearing the freaking uniform I have to do it. I am a member of the Order of the Dragonborn's Knight. I must because of my debt to Sir Elaine. I killed his brother after all. I think I probably feel a little bit guilty about that even though it wasn't technically my fault. Um I must slay goblins wherever I find them. I hope you know what you're doing, he says. Me too, honestly. Move in! Hello. Everyone? Oh, hello, Bites. We're, we're fighting, though, I think. And I'm gonna get some lag because this is a crazy amount 
of fighters here. Oh my god. Okay, try not to hit a guard. Stone Seer. I can't see. I can't see. Hang on. More fatigue. What else is there? Is that it? We're done? Look at these guards! These guards know freaking spells and everything. Who's this? Oh, this is Gull. Please leave us to mourn our losses. Return later after we have buried the dead. Hmm. This is interesting. It's the Stone Seer Goblin Shaman. Elven Arrow. Sure, I'll take that. Did anybody... What the hell happened? Did, any, did anybody on our team die? I don't see any bodies. I'll take a more thorough look. Yes, well, I don't know if we made the right choice, but we definitely made the knightly choice. We are a knight. It is what um, Sir Elaine would have wanted us to do. Warlord. Do I have a war axe? Mm. They've always got one lockpick on them. I'm not quite sure why that is. Well, hopefully this is it, and then we don't have a repeat of what's happened here. Spot for sleeping. Let's see if we can find Jorak, or Bites Her Tongue, or Silor. See what they have to say about this whole affair. Let's see what our journal says, actually, first. Siler explained that the goblins arrived outside town recently and are displaying hostile intentions. Given the severity with which they have attacked in the past, I have decided we will wipe them out once and for all. Yeah, that sounds reasonable, you know? It would have... It, it, with those words, it almost makes it sound like it, it would be cuckoo to try to talk to them. And given Nevish's background, uh, his exposure to the Order of the Dragonborn's Knight, I think it uh, makes sense that he would do that. Very tense situation unfolding. The townsfolk have taken up a position on the edge of town with the goblins standing at the ready in Jorax camp. I need to see if there's anything that can be done about the situation. Last of the goblins has been killed. The threat has been eliminated, but at what cost? Many villagers lie dead. Really? And there's still the mystery of what the goblins wanted in the first place. All that remains to do for now is to see to burying the dead. I didn't think any villagers died. Certainly no guards. Did Silor or Bites Her Tongue die? We have to find them. If we don't find them in town, we're going to be looking for them. Out there in that field. Hmm. Jira's. Excuse me. What a waste. So much death, so much destruction. And for what? We don't even know what this was all about, and may never know. For what it's worth, thanks for your help. Who knows how much worse it might have been had you not shown up. Hmm. I wonder if it had something to do with that one 
um, doorway in the Nenyan Twill passage that we couldn't get into, where we slept, where we slept next to um, Sylor and oh, it's the horse's shadow. Okay, that was weird. Sylor and bites her tongue. There was a door in that ruin that we couldn't get into. I wonder if it had some. The goblins wanted to get back down there or something. Well met. Okay, this yes. is all the same crew as before. It looks like. Yes. Okay, so they're not in here. Good morning. Hmm? Who said that? Oh, you. Namarka. Alex. Sir Halasa. So then who the hell, where the hell are the people that I actually want to talk to? Sylor, you're alive! I told you this was madness. Now that madness has cost lives and inflicted even more suffering and pain. Hmm. He's not happy with me. Suppose he wanted to take a more... pacifist approach, but... Unfortunately, my duty compelled me. Or Rosalind. Gaius Balter. Well, I don't know where Bites Her Tongue went, and I can't get into the blacksmith to talk to Gull. I don't think. Let me try it one more time here. Oh, I can. Okay. Must have opened up after the fight. Though it's doubtful that he'll have anything to say, given what he said outside. Please leave us to mourn for our losses. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fair enough. You haven't seen Bites Her Tongue, though, have you? I'd really like to talk to her, but oh well. Uh, no, not that. Well. While we're here, let's go check out Nenyon Twill. Then we'll take a carriage back to... Um... Braville, and if there's time, work our way back down to that, um, well, to Bonn, and then past Bonn to the fort. Guards, you haven't seen bites, have you? No. Apparently not. And it's going to be lunchtime soon, given how early we were up this morning. Oof. I almost gag on a foul stench. Oh, yes. If ever there was a place I wanted to check out, it's this one. This must be Nenyand Twill, whose ruins we've been inside, though only a part previously inaccessible. And this area needs a key as well. Which, as I said in an earlier episode, I knew, but Nevish did not, so. That settles that. We can't get into Nenyan Twill and satisfy our curiosity about what the heck Darcy's mine actually uncovered. Woo! Nifty move, buddy. Okay. Lunch, then, and a um, carriage back to Breville. We spent quite a lot more time in and around Breville than I ever thought that we would um, when we first arrived there. It's been about a week since the first time we saw Breville. I really didn't think we'd spend more than like a day or two there. But then, of course, we found all those Nernroot uh, all at once, and then 
had to go back to Skingrad, and then when we came back from Skingrad, we started exploring again, but we did the Forlorn Watchmen and the Alaron quest, and we ended up doing a lot of stuff. Um, okay, so right, we're going to sit down on this rock right here and eat some lunch. As soon as I can press the button. There we go. Now, uh, full disclosure, everyone, I have actually played this Feral quest, Fairgill quest before. Uh, I have not done this option, where I, where you actually fight the goblins. I previously did the option where you talk to the goblins, and what they do. Uh, I'll, this is a spoiler. If you've not ever played this before and you want to play this yourself, skip ahead, say one minute, uh, to not hear the secrets. What they do is the goblins say, oh yes, we're back because this mine leads us to our home. And they take you, they walk you through the entire mine, basically, down to that secret room that you couldn't get in before. You go through that room and you encounter the Great Welkin Stone in Nenyan Twill. And when you encounter the Great, Great Welkin Stone, Stone in Nenyan Twill, it like opens a portal or something to an island out in the middle of the sea somewhere like you can't see any mainland from around that island you don't even know where you are and that's where that goblin tribe lives is on that island how they got through that portal in the first place and got here i don't know and how they ended up way down and elsewhere needed to come back up here through the portal i don't know but um that's how that quest ends i think on that side and so when you come back out uh, i forget if that's the end of the quest or if there's something else i remember another part of this Faragil quest, but I don't want to say it in case it's actually still going to happen despite me choosing a different solution to that quest. So I won't mention it now because I don't want to spoil it in case it happens in this LP, but from here on out in this particular Faragil mod questline, I'm flying blind. Um, and I did the slaying of the goblins because I wanted to see obviously what the other option was, but more importantly I think because it's what Nevish would actually do. I don't think he'd have much patience for goblins. You know, he's fought enough himself where he realizes he thinks that they're just kind of fiendish brutes. Um, and he's heard enough from Sir Elaine to know that he doesn't really want to give them time to speak. He just wants to slay. Okay, all that said. Oh. Just want to look at that really quick. Uh, that All that said, let's head back to Braville. Greetings, traveler. What can I do for you? I'm looking to travel to Bravo. By the gods, what do you want to go over there for? If you insist, though, it should take about an hour and will cost 25 gold. Yes, I need to go to Braville. Suit yourself. Don't expect me to wait around for you once we arrive. I don't feel like getting sick. Thank you, Valera. Fast travel for the first time in this LP, I think. Isn't it? I think so. And here we are. And what's this lady's name? Let me check. Singale. Okay. So, the time then is... Oh, it's only noon. Oh, good. Wait, noon on what day? Noon on Saturday. How long did she say that would take? I forgot. A few hours, I thought she said. I guess that makes sense. It was like 10.30 when we got on, and it's about 12.30 now, so... Right. Okay, well, I hope Jorak feels like we fulfilled his end of the bargain. Well met. Thank you. And I'm going to do the whole swimming trick across the river, because we've already been around that stretch of road uh, enough times, I'm going to say. Yes! Jerk. This lady's gonna ask me for money, I would bet my life on it. Yep, I knew it. I can eat for a day with a single coin. Very well, beggar, have a coin. Thank you, kind sir. You're quite welcome. Lessons of Arke upon Ah, Arke. Yes, uh, deity, we've not had any direct... Oh, she does not like me at all. 
deity we've not had any direct contact with, but one that intrigues Nebish in a way. God of the circle of life and death. God of the deceased. God of ancestors. God of those Nebish feels we should uh, worship. All right. Here we go. Perhaps for the last time for a while, we're going to strip down and jump into the water. Here goes. Wow, look how far I came with one breath. It's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Okay, duck behind this rock here. Nope, not those. Nope, not that. Oh, and an arrow case is probably in need right now. Um, yeah, take... Um, eight of those. And... Put back... The Elven Arrow. And let's continue our Nernroot collecting expedition. Though I did say that we wouldn't bother looking for Nernroot near the shore here. We'd go all the way over to the fort where we saw the Forlorn Watchmen before we... And we'll explore that first and then we'll cut back down to the shore. After, of course, exploring the fort. If I had not been role-playing this game, when I had Jorak as a follower, I would have carried him around with me till kingdom come. I would have had that dude forever. He would have been awesome to go through dungeons with. But no. We did Bon. Well, we did a part of Bon, I guess. <laughs> Realized it was entirely too tough for us, even with a follower. But we tried. And that's really all we had, because we knew... He said that it was a... Um, oh, this is the way to the fort. He said that it was a uh, goblin war party that had gone to Farragill, and we knew we had to help. Old Braville County Prison? Oh, maybe this isn't the fort, then. What is that spell that I have armed down there? What is that? What is this? I have a heal spell armed? How does that work? I don't even know a heal spell. It's very strange. Um, very strange. Put that on. Prison. Okay. This is new. I mean, this is unique landscapes. I've never seen this before, but... Oh, I thought maybe that was a doorway at first, but no. This looks like a doorway, though. But I can't get through. Ah. What a mystery, then, will remain unexplored here. It also looks like a bit of an opening, but no. 